ACMI productions are only made possible with your support. Visit patreon.com slash ACMI to learn how you can help. This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format consistent with the provisions of state law promoting remote participation in public meetings. I will now call attendance to confirm that we have a quorum and to confirm that all present in person on via Zoom can hear and hear me and each other. When I call your name, please respond in the affirmative, starting with Jordan. Here. Jennifer. Sophie. Carolyn. Rebecca. Yes, here. Josh. Michael. Here. Charlie. Here. John. Here. Daryl. Here. Annie here. Alan Jones here. Topher here. Peggy here. Altasti here. Grant Dean David here. And Tara here. And Cynthia. <laughs> um, this meeting is being conducted simultaneously in in person and over Zoom and is being recorded. For those attending remotely. Please remember to mute your phone or computer when you are not speaking. All please remember to speak clearly and in a way that helps generate accurate minutes. All supporting materials that have been provided members of this body are available on the town's website unless otherwise noted. The public is encouraged to follow, follow along using the posted agenda unless the chair notes otherwise. Ensuring public access to hybrid meetings does not ensure public comment or public participation. This meeting will not feature public comment. Those who think right. Comments may do so by emailing our executive secretary, Tara Bradley, at tbradley at town.arlington.mo.us. Lastly, as required by law, each vote, substantive vote in this meeting will be conducted by roll call. And I know that Josh has uh, joined us. Oh, and Grant is joining in Zoom. All right, let's do the minutes. Um, hi, Grant. Um, obviously, no one will be able to to see them here. Right, I'm back. I was at a different location, but here we are. So, has everyone had a chance to look at the minutes from April twenty fourth? Do I have a motion? A second. Second. Okay. All right. All those in favor of approving the minutes of the 24th, um, say yes, starting with Jordan. Yes. Jennifer is here. Sophie, Carolyn, Rebecca. Yes. Josh. Yes. Michael. Yes. Charlie. Yes. John. Yes. Daryl. Daryl. Daryl, can you hear us? Can't get myself on mute. Yes. Okay. Annie? Yes. Alan Jones? Yes. Ofer? Yes. Peggy? Yes. Paul Tosti? Did they spell my name right? <laughs> yes. yes. Okay, great. Yes. Grant? Yes. Dean is not here. Dave McKenna? Yes. All right. Unanimous. All right. So, the schedule. We are going to have Minuteman tonight. Um, and then um, we'll table everything, take up Minuteman, and then then go back to the select boards um, article sorry, 2016. Um, Monday night is capital uh, is, is the Department of Budgets and the Capital Plan. Um, also, Mon Monday night six. We may have, I'm hoping to have a discussion about collective bargaining. Uh, according to Alex McGee, there's one definite agreement, a second probable agreement, and maybe even a third agreement. Mm -hmm. And what he's going to try to do is get materials to us by this Friday so that we can have something to discuss and fill you in on Monday night before town meeting. Um, I, the only Hitch, I would imagine, is that that third, he might want a little extra time to do that third um, contract and and 
I'm I'm not saying when about us finishing business on the 13th. So I think uh, we may have some time to finalize those agreements. So right now, expect you that we you might get something that uh, Tara or uh, Alex or I will um, send you um, by the end of this week. Again, so be prepared. That happens through a discussion and a possible vote on Monday before town meeting. Um, and then after um, that, then we have a special uh, town meeting on the 8th. Um, and then we'll pick up on the 13th, wherever we leave off. Um, and then uh, I, I expect to still have some maybe revenge or to be by then and then we finish up with what's left with the finance articles after that. So that is um, so most important thing right now is that we hope to have collective bargaining agreements to be able to review and approve next week. Um, end of year dinner stand up. Yeah, no. Anything to report on the progress of the end of the year dinner? Tara, Sophie, Carolina, any any activity on the end of the dinner? Um, I, I guess the first place would be a location. Um, would you like me to see if we can use the police station for the dinner? Yes. Uh, they do have a lovely deck. <laughs> That's an idea. That's an idea. I can ask. Yeah. I've seen people eating in there before. They do. So, yeah. Right. The date I threw out was what the 17th. I don't know how, whether that works, how that is for people. I figured that is not too late in the month, but late enough that we'd be finished with our business. Anyone see any problems with? And Annie, did you have a town uh, meeting training um, before town meeting started? Mm -hmm. yeah. How did that go? Um, it went well. Um, I mean, basically, what I did was I took our regular training and I added a slide about the finance committee and I talked about the process so that people understood. Um, first of all, that the, the budget is our budget that it goes through us. It's not. Starts as the town managers, but we are the final arbiters. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, that the, the process of modifying the budget is um, something that should start further back than at the town meeting. Um, and also, that um, there are many boilerplate um, articles that come on the consent agenda that if they have questions about them, they should ask us in advance because, for the most part, the questions can be quickly answered in email and most town meeting members who've been there for a while know that they're getting the same article they got the last five years and don't need to, you know, question it and so on and so forth. So I think it went really well. It wasn't very well attended, but I'm also in the Slack channel and I also got on the Slack channel and said, hey, if you've got questions about the Finance Committee articles, particularly the ones on the consent agenda, ask me now and I'll answer them here because we love to not have them taken off. So I think that helped. Mm -hmm. um, I think that doesn't mean you won't get the usual questions about the budget and so on. So. Yeah, thanks for doing that. Has anyone who attended the precinct meetings come across any interesting questions or issues that people were focusing on? Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Madam Chair, I have a question. <clears throat> um, you need to the comment that you know the budget is pretty well fixed by the time it gets to town meeting and if they want to have any if the town meeting member wants to have any influence on it they've got to start further back mm -hmm. but we don't allow public comments at our finance committee meeting. we allow comments you can you can send them to tara who sends them and she has we have gotten a few comments um but yeah i i we we it's sort of hamstring the town meeting member giving any inputs to well, the financial side so so I would suggest that on the rare occasion when I've had a town meeting member ask me about making a change to the budget, let's take, for example, because this was one of the ones that frustrated me, I would rather, somebody saying, I would rather we put more money into social workers at AYCC than the police department, 
can't we move some money from the police department to the health department? And my response to that is, well, technically you can, but that doesn't mean that the health department has a plan for dealing with that money. And it doesn't mean that the police department's gonna cut what you expect. If you really wanna influence those things, those are policy decisions, you should start by asking to get on the select board's agenda in September and explain to them the policy change you're seeking that should be reflected in the budget, so on and so forth. People don't like that answer because that's the real answer if you want to be effective. So it's like, do they want to be effective or do they want to grandstand? And you know, you guys all know my politics, right? So this isn't me being some kind of autocratic Yahoo. It's just how the process works. I don't think I'm being an autocratic yacht. I'm just going to say, I have to think about it. <laughs> well, I, I, I tend to be frustrated by democracy as we all are. Too. I, I, at the beginning of this year, I was struggling with having a public meeting early um, because by this time of year, everything's done. So, so we're trying to figure out whether we can have a meeting after the town manager um, has give, gives us a select board and uh, his budget, proposed budget, and then before we start getting to the nitty gritty of reviewing the budgets and the articles, but that means we have to find have to do it on Monday or Wednesday, and so that we have to so that will eat into our timeline. So I think it's doable, but we'd have to. Commit and at least I was thinking pretty much a full evening for the public to do that, and that might be something you might want to do for next well, year. Just a half hour of two nights, you could do it. Well, Nobody's going to come. So that, well, that's 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 the unknown is yeah. is who would come and whether we would do it by Zoom, like a hybrid, um, or in person. So we, it was probably like 10 or 15 years ago, the selectmen, the redevelopment board, the finance committee put out a notice to everybody, all the town meeting members, everybody we can do, signed by all three chairmen, saying inviting people to come to our meetings and have input and participate. That zero. It was there are more articles now. So right. might. The, the, the other thing is, is that town, that we want to impact town meeting members. We, then the issue is do we wait until after the election because we'll be mm -hmm. town meeting members. Um, is, is, who, who's the audience? Is it who? the town? Is it town meeting members? Um, but anyway, um, do you have a hand up? I've had a number of conversations and seen more in the last uh, you know, week or two about the amount of money that's available for uh, senior citizen uh, tax relief. And how that's provided for in the budget, and and um, are we are we bumping up against a limit? Mm -hmm. Which is a set of questions that kind of overlap different different budget questions, different budget lines. Mm -hmm. um, Rebecca, thank you. Um, I just had a comment on how prepared I think the average town meeting member is to discuss the budget. So mm -hmm. I was the one who set the time for our precinct meeting of just like who's available what day and at various points we had potentially three precincts and when I was saying this is going to be the agenda of the precinct meeting and I said I'm your finance committee member and please come with questions I'm ready to answer them and I pushed really hard on that in the beginning of the meeting I said I'm here to talk about finance and everyone said that's great thank you so much for being available and crickets not one question so I suspect that for a lot of people they start reading the budget when it's handed to them, and then they're like, I don't understand what snow and ice means, and I don't understand, you know, what does OPEP stand for? So I think the advantage of having a public meeting would be that we could point people back to the time to discuss this was three weeks ago, yeah. but mm -hmm. I suspect we will have limited attendance, but I would hope that we would have better attendance. That's all. Thank you. Uh, Annie? So when I was on the select board, uh, the school committee held two public hearings for their budget. They held them in, I want to say, like December or November, or maybe December, January, so very early on. And I tried to encourage the select board to hold similar public meetings early on, because that's the point at which you could 
discuss the budget in terms of the policies that it supports and get public input. So I think that the idea of waiting until we have the printed budget from the town manager and doing it as us, holding a meeting, um, like our first meeting is a public hearing is a little late. I would suggest it's earlier and joint with the select board and that it should come at the point where the budget is maybe less formed and just the top lines are what gets discussed. Because what people are really after is to give you their ideas, not to look at it and say, well, why do we pay? You know, what, why is, I mean, we're looking at sort of, you know, well, whoa, is this longevity number correct? The public is looking at what are the services I'm getting and is it the right mix and balance that, that goes with what I want my government to be doing? And I think that's where town meeting members are at. So I just think the timing is off and the nature of the conversation is a little different than what we do digging into the details. So, you know, I'm happy to help to pursue that again. The school committee gets people at those meetings, but I think it's because they've been holding them for a while. So if you hold it once and three people show up and you go, oh, there were 20 people here, so I'm disappointed, that's the wrong approach. <laughs> the right approach is to do it for three years and then see whether or not you get building momentum, which is how precinct meetings got started and so on and so forth. So my two percent. How do people feel about a, like a fall or early winter meeting? Well, you should never right after I think that it, I guess the town manager does it to some extent, certainly the school committee mm -hmm. does it in terms of laying out this is what's changed, these are our shifting priorities. We're adding teachers here, we're adding more people to public works, mm -hmm. we're doing mm -hmm. that's the kind of thing that the public would respond right. to. I mean, exactly. no one really needs to go and scour the numbers. If anybody says, but they, exactly. I think people like I've heard some people talk about our mm -hmm. is four hundred fifty thousand dollars for front of the rocks really the right priority or maybe that should be going somewhere else mm -hmm. that kind of thing. And at, at our recent meetings, we didn't discuss it this year, but in past years, there have been places where you, Charlie or Brian contributed information. Mm -hmm. I think so. I think it'd be useful, but I agree with Annie that really the time is before when when priorities are being established before mm -hmm. the. All the numbers are put together because by then you say, well, you're going to do it here, then you got to take it from there. And mm -hmm. it's, it's really cooked by the time we get it, really. Now, Carolyn and Jordan. Oh, okay. Um, I think this year we should have two, and then going forward, one. I think the idea of doing one soon after town meeting ends to say, if you're on town meeting or you're interested in what happens in town budget and how we got to this year's budget, come to a meeting and we will go over it because it's fresh in people's mind and it's fresh in our minds. Mm -hmm. If we're going to do one before we get the budget, you know, like December or late fall, then we're still going over this year's budget. Are we saying we want to do it once we get the budget or before we get it? So we really can't control that. And what then happens? That's all I have to say. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, and to that point, I think Carolyn and Annie, you both made good points, right? Like everybody is mostly interested in what are the services that they're getting. Um, I don't know if they're as much as interested in the process, but to the um, uh, to what you said um, at the beginning, does it make sense to have a fall meeting? I think that it would be a good idea as like an educational piece. This is our process. This is how we work we wait for the budgets to be submitted to us based on what the mm -hmm. department's operational need is. We review it, this is what we do, and this is ultimately the final product that we come up with. Um, it would probably, uh, to your point, Christine, probably add an additional meeting that we would need to wrap up a little bit early, but something maybe to the beginning of like a, uh, a meeting at the beginning of the budget process, and then something at the conclusion that says, this is where we started, this is where we ended up. Charlie? Yeah, I think that Andy made a comment earlier that we, we really should consider. A few years ago, my first year as chair, um, I can't remember the, the person's name, but it was a woman uh, from town meeting who had some issues with, I think it was the police budget, or mm -hmm. I can't remember exactly. But um, whatever it was that she was asking for, wasn't possible to do 
without the assent of the chief. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, it was it like, you know, put some, somebody here or something like that. Those decisions are made in September or October mm -hmm. uh, by, at the department level. Mm -hmm. So the, the earlier we would have such a meeting, whether it's with the selectmen or not, with, or with the town manager, the earlier the better. Mm -hmm. Because it's not just airing the issue, it's also getting the information back to the departments in time for it to be processed in their budget preparations. So let's reiterate what Carolyn said. I think if, when the budgets are presented this year, if you stood up and said on June 19th or June 23rd, um, we were going to have an open meeting for town meeting members and anyone else interested to review the budget process. Because if you don't understand the process, you don't know, you know when to do what. You know, and, and it's it's in everybody's minds. And I bet we'd get 10 or 20 people. We invite them to the dinner. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 that would cut into the Acapulco trip budget. <laughs> well, you know, I say Acapulco, that's like way out. We're, we're going to have um, reserve transfers, going to have to meet for mm -hmm. that. So we could combine, um, have a half an hour of mm -hmm. sort of a public process and then do our business or do our business and then mm -hmm. leave open the rest of the meeting. Um, for mm -hmm. the 141 person who comes, mm -hmm. um, we could do that and then we can get some thought about. And did you say that the select board does have a meeting to? They, they don't hold a public hearing the way the school committee does, where they're, they're specifically soliciting public input beyond the usual sort of, you know, sometimes on the agenda they have mm -hmm. community input at the moment. Um, and said public hearing would have to be done at some point when the town manager is prepared to talk about what are the budget priorities for this year, what's he forecasting to be different. He, I doubt if you waited until he had actually produced an entirely balanced budget, whether or not it would be easy to change. No, I, I agree. So, I'm just inquiring whether if, if the yeah. select board was to have something like this in October, whether yeah. we could tag on. That would be my plan. Because they have to make policy and take decisions based on that public information. So, um, we have a few more minutes, Alan, and then John. Yeah, I think it's really a two step process. One is, is understanding the process and the timelines and things like that, which is really one thing, mm -hmm. which is not policy, it's just mm -hmm. education. Right. What's OPEP? What's the reserve fund? Um, what's the overlay? Uh, and then a second one, which is policy, which is where the, the select board and the school committee should, should be yes. listed. Um, John? Yeah, thank you. Um, and so kind of piggybacking on getting the public more involved earlier, I feel like it would be beneficial for the finance committee to get involved a little bit earlier, like maybe one or two meetings in the fall. It's just so, like, for instance, I feel like, at least me, we're a little reactive. In other words, we're getting the, the budget when it's done, and it's kind of a big deal to change anything. But maybe if we had, you know, the meeting in October, would actually say, we have questions about this. Can you address this? as you're going through everything so as you get the public involved earlier i think at least me we could benefit from getting involved a little bit earlier too with one or two meetings exactly yep. okay. yeah i'm going to say first um one of my thoughts about one's education one's policy and i'm a little confused because i thought this body did not set policy I thought we reviewed the budget and made sure it was all I think good. But as a committee, I mean, we could be there to the select them, I guess, for support if there was, you know, questions or details. Right. But I yeah. think we could also push the select board to do this. I mean, at least yeah. I'm willing to push it. No, I mean, I see that. I mean, and also on the school committee yeah, hearing, I think it has to happen in the fall. Yeah. And it happens, I think right. it happens that that works. Maybe they have a second one. Did you two of them anymore? They, okay, because there's They're one perfect. that they have to ask like three times. Yeah. I, I, I do think that we, we do get involved in some policy. And I also think that through our budget season, mm -hmm. when we're sitting in a room with the, the town manager and our department heads, mm -hmm. we are impacting the budget and going forward. Right. That's when we say, we don't want any more hires here, or mm -hmm. when are you going to fill this vacancy, or um, that, okay, this year, mm -hmm. but next year we're going to be looking for 
So we we do have some impact in that way. Um, yeah, I can see that. So we have to wrap it up now. I mean, the, get into the details of the budget, but the really driving force behind our whole budgeting process is the Long Range Planning Committee. Mm -hmm. And you we start meeting in September, October. By mm -hmm. November, maybe you have a sense of what is projected at least. Maybe that's what we should have a public hearing on to inform all the committees, but also the, the people. This is what it looks like next year, guys. And this is what we're going to do about it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's too high a level. I'm sorry? It's too high a level. I, the town meeting members, you know, kind of what Danny said before, they're interested in, uh, you know, how are my streets going to get fixed or how many how many police cars do we have out, out at a time? They don't, the, the high level of the long range plan is not what they're interested in. All right, so we're going to have to continue this. Maybe we have time on Monday. Um, going back to the dinner. Uh -huh. um, Tara, I think you're going to have to check and see if you consider the community safety rule. Yeah. I don't think you can serve with me. Okay. That, yeah. no, <laughs> that kills it then. Yeah, that's fair. Important. So I, I will again. explore some things. Do you think we're getting the test tonight? And we're getting the test. Okay, can somebody let me speak? Uh, because I'm not a town meeting member, so I can't speak about the town meeting member. Let me speak. Which one do you want to then? Um, the pets. I live in a building that's got oh, oh, oh. And I'm against it, not in case you want to know. Well, I guess I'll introduce you to you. Is that okay? Well, yeah, you have, okay. you have to get recognized, but. ACMI productions are only made possible with your support. Visit patreon.com slash ACMI to learn how you can help.